Okay, guys, what's going on? This is DJ coming at you. Uh, I'm right now at Hy-Vee. I'm on the Razer MX. I'm sorry, the Razer E300 electric scooter modified. That's right, that's right. Modified, ladies and gentlemen. Um, just a little update to encourage those of you who want to get a scooter and are interested in the Razer E300 scooter. Uh, again, go back and see my videos that I did on this build. You know, the things that I did to uh, make it make it better. So you guys can see. Okay, some luggage box. So you guys can get a good look. That's the 350 watt motor. 36 volt, 350 watt motor. 65 tooth wheel sprocket. Uh, Walmart basket, upgraded throttle with key. As you can see, hang on a second. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Keep watching. Keep watching. I got the key here. Upgraded version. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Boop. Forty point three volts. Or watts, or whatever. But there you go. And I have to say, a scooter is very awesome. As far as uh, after modifying it, that is. Also, I got this little Walmart bag to keep my battery in for my headlight that I have in the trunk. But anyway, the scooter does absolutely great. Uh, and I'd like to encourage anybody that wants to use a Razer E300 as a transport device uh, to travel to and fro here and there, that it is definitely worth it once you do the modifications. You have to modify it though, to make it worthy of, uh, you know, using it for legitimate transportation, okay? You have to modify it. Go back and watch my videos on the E300 build. Got a few videos up about it. And just so you know, this right here is a tire guard. I can actually rest my foot on it because when I did the luggage modification, as you can see, I got a little plate of aluminum under there holding my luggage in place so it doesn't bobble too much. It's pretty steady right now. Quite steady. Um, that there is to keep my foot from touching the tire when I stand on it, as you can see. And it works awesome, totally awesome. I use it as a footrest. Also, it's good to pick up the scooter. Uh, that actually was a bookshelf that I got at Home Depot. Not a bookshelf, but a bookshelf support. Support arm. I got a Home Depot, I just, and they were actually white like that, so I decided to leave them like that, kind of like it. I just had to cut them a little bit uh, with my Dremel and uh, drill a couple holes. And voila, I have a great footrest, tire guard, whatever you want to call it, but it works awesome. And it legitimately keeps uh, my foot from touching the tire. That, that was my main issue. Um, I will probably, you know, uh, develop some type of uh, plastic fender in there too to keep water off if I ever have to ride in water. But yeah, that's what that's about. Um, the scooter does great. I'm only about three miles from the house, something like that. And I figured I'd do a quick video on the Razer E300 and the mods I've done to it to encourage those of you who want to get an electric scooter that this scooter is definitely, definitely worth it, but you have to do the modifications that I recommend in my videos. It's very cheap, you know, because because of the tire size of the scooter, it's gonna travel over rough terrain much better than almost any scooter out there. Any of the cheaper scooters, that is, okay? This scooter here, you can pick it up for a hundred something bucks on eBay, $85 sometimes shipped, and they'll tell you that it's damaged because electronics may be messed up, but the, uh, you know, you don't need to buy a new one at Toys R Us or whatever, or whoever sells it. Just try to get a used one on eBay, and then get the electronics off of uh, eBay. I forgot the name of the guy that uh, sells them, but if you type in Razer E300 uh, controller, you'll see it. It'll pop up. It's not like 57 bucks for everything. Controller and throttle with the key. With the key. Get it all then you just go through the proper steps. Um, I'm also using uh, 
60 lithium ion cells. Again, you'll see that information on my uh, on the videos I've done on the scooter. And I got those off of eBay too. They're the battery packs for the uh, the balancing boards. And they only sell them for like 50 bucks a pop. Lithium ion cells, you get like 20, 20 in a pack, something like that. So, I highly recommend, that was a guy riding an illegal mini bike. But anyway, I highly recommend this. I mean, I'm very happy with it. Right now, I probably got about 80 miles on it, 90 miles. Coming up on 100 miles, and this thing does absolutely great. Um, again, I customized my board on it and everything else, so it's awesome. I, I, I'm very happy with what I've done with, with my modifications I've done. So go back, check my videos out. Uh, I'm just, just sharing information, guys. All right, on uh, building a decent electric-powered vehicle. Very cheap, by the way. Okay, this is DJ over and out.